uh, yeah. s- going into Flutter. Uh, the third thing I wish I knew is that don't yes. use set state a lot. Don't use set state. All right, okay. State manager. Uh, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't use set state a lot. Um, like use um use stream builder. Don't use set state. Mm, um, yeah. And um, that kind of ties in. It's like part of the same tip. Do not use a state management state management uh package. It's not worth mm. it. Don't don't use the okay. state like. Like people say, like oh, you you should use provider, uh, whatever. Mm. Like river plot, river river um, what's river it called? Pod. River pod, river pod. Um, whatever was it like, like block, get yeah. x, like those yeah. things. They're they're not really worth it, um, oh. because you definitely benefit more. Like you a hundred percent benefit more by writing your your like your own solution that works for you. Mm. By the way, that is like really easy. Like probably like less than a hundred lines of code and you like have full control over that and you understand mm. what's going on. You understand when the things are like, when things are, are expensive, when things are not and you end up writing better code, you, you end up writing code that you understand and then mm. you, you, you know, like you have, you know, you have control. Like whenever you have stuff that you don't have control over, that's like a, that's like a bad sign. You want to have less amount of, you know, you know fewer stuff, th- fewer things that you don't have control over. <laughs> and by the way, that's- like, Oh. Mm-hmm. No, no, sorry. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. I was just saying, uh, like, um, all those state management packages, they are essentially the same in the way that they just provide you a way to trigger re-renders, right? They, they're essentially the same. Um, they, they, you can like store data in there, but like, essentially, what you want is that you want to like tr- trigger re-renders when, when, whenever you want to. Um, mm-hmm. and set state is to like what Flutter used to do that, right? And um. Or at least that's the official way. Uh, but also, um, so people say that, oh, like you should have, like you, sh- you should separate your UI with your business logic, right? And that's what you definitely should do. Um, with, what you definitely should not do is that you, you install a package just to do that. Like you don't, mm. have, you don't have to install a package to do that. It's like really yeah. simple. You just, you just have to make a, like all you need to do is to declare, you know, like a, like a, str- like a stream builder or like a, like have something that emits events and then have a stream yeah. builder that listens to that. That's all you need to do. And then you can like have your own, you know, w- class data. Like for example, let me, let me give you a super, super um, simple example. Uh, yeah, please. You can have like, uh, just following this example, you can get rid of any state management package. Uh, mm. The first class you need is a notifier class. And that class mm. is uh, this, like any instance of that class is a notifier in a way that um, it has a method called dot notify, and that thing will emit an event. And in there, there's a there's a stream, you know, that that like a, a, a like a broadcast stream that any widget can um, to subscribe to that. Um, and that thing doesn't carry any object. The second type of class you need is an observable, and that observable is like a notifier, except that it has a, it has some piece of data in there, and that piece of data is is nullable. It could be null. And the third type of, of class is an observable, but not nullable. <laughs> That's pretty much all the three types of classes um, that, that you need. The reason why uh, I separated the two um, is because I, I feel like that would give you a little bit more, um, like, um, sort of, like, clear, like, sense of like control in a way that y- you know like what things are nullable what things are not but you can totally combine those two um but what what's what's important is that you, you want to utilize the, the 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 type template when creating those classes so like you know the the less than or equal or less than greater uh than sign like t or like you know that mm. in the the observable can carry any type of data you, mm. you can like declare that to to carry any type so with that two or three classes you're done. You don't need anything else, right? You just have to, like, if you want to, like, go overboard, you can uh, write another widget that that's called um, called notify notifier listener or notifier builder, mm-hmm. and that thing takes a notifier and it's under the hood is just a um, stream builder, and there 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 you go. You don't have to write. You don't have to install any pa- or package that's state yeah. management related, right? Uh, but yeah. I'm I'm learning so much and I'm so happy you said that because I actually haven't heard anyone say 
not to use any of those packages because like when I just got scroll around about this whole state management thing um, on Reddit and I'll just read the whole Reddit post and stuff like that and so I heard a lot of people I read a lot of people saying to to like the opposite of what you're saying which is like mm-hmm. um, to not just invent one yourself and if you're going to do that <laughs> like you'll, pro- you'll probably be making one yourself and if you're going to do that you should just use the packages but in general mm-hmm. I'm I like your school of thought because when I do my code and stuff like I actually if I don't if I don't have to I don't like bringing in new packages into my into my code because mm-hmm. it will just be too dependent mm-hmm. but obviously there's situations where it's you know useful to do that and so like mm-hmm. I like to uh, make things from scratch you know if I if it's if it's pretty easy to do so I just you know make it myself kind of thing um, mm-hmm. and try not to depend so much on a package. And so with the state management thing, I've, this has been on my mind actually, like um, just that whole topic because when I was reading on the Reddit post, it's like, oh, you don't, don't make it yourself. Just you'll end up making it yourself if you think if, you know, you're going to do it mm-hmm. your own way and you should just use the um, other packages. And you're saying it the other way, but I like what you're saying. <laughs> I mean, yeah, can, you just I mean ex- like if- can you just expand that whole dichotomy of the two? Oh yeah, like if you, if, I would say like if, um, like by saying don't like install any package or any uh, state management package. I'm not saying don't stay state management. I'm just saying yeah, don't exactly, install yeah. any package, right? And also like yeah, like if don't you were use to, the provider GetX those type of things. Mm-hmm. And like also like if you want like a camera plugin, don't make your own p- camera plugin. Like right, there yeah, there are yeah, ones yeah. out there because that's like super hard and stuff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Not super yeah. hard per se, but that that takes like way more effort than making a state management thing. But like yeah. just making a state management package, or like not ma- not making a package, just like making a solution for yourself to use, is so mm. easy. Then mm. it will probably take like less time to read their documentation compared to if you were to <laughs> just write, write your own. Because I was actually reading like a code base right. using Riverpod, and some of the yeah. the practices kind of shocked me in a way that they. They copy erase all the time. That's kind of crazy. They they like create new <laughs> states right. and stuff. That, and then and then I thought, well, wow, that's super inefficient. Like you don't totally have to do that. That's kind of the. Mm. I'm not sure if you're familiar with React in the way that like in the Re- React code base no, when you I'm do not. set state, like you like when you do set state and your state ha- is is an object, and what you have to do is that you have to decompose that object and then create a new object just so that the React uh, library knows that you, that the the thing is changing. Mm. I feel like that's sort of like mm. a really hacky and bad way. Uh, and also that applies for arrays as well. Like when you want to uh, reset the state to be a new array, if you want to trigger a rebuild or re-render, you have to create a new array. <laughs> just so, just to, it, it's just really mm. um, unnecessary, yeah. I feel like. Okay. But further, like in further, the, the team, like the further uh, framework gives you control over that in a way that you just have this um, stream builder widget that can listens to that can listen to streams and you can just go off like do whatever with it right and it will just mm. solve like any any need for you um and uh by the way most of the state management packages are kind of the same under the hood they all use like mm. inherited widgets or something like that uh right, okay. which is you know you could have also used that <laughs> but i just personally mm. recommend you just to use streams that's like the good the, I would say the best way to go about this. I like that. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Like you're gonna you're gonna uh, take me under your wing. I'm gonna like learn your. I'm gonna learn your way. It's it's it sounds better. <laughs> um, uh, I mean I mean some of the things are you know definitely opinionated. People are like some people yeah. like to use containers all over the places. Some people like to use like different widgets like padding, you know margin and those right, widgets yeah, separately. Yeah yeah. Um, I'm one of those um, people. I think who use containers all over the place. <laughs> right. You know, nowadays it's like when you use a container and you don't specify any decoration, it like has a blue squiggle. It's like just use a size box instead. Like you know how they always oh, yeah. <laughs> the, the code always tells you to do that. I think you raised a really good point about the whole packages uh, situation because you were saying about specifically about state management instead of using those packages, it's probably easier and you'll have more control just making your own. Um, mm-hmm. And but you were also saying about the camera plugin. If there are situations where you want to use the camera uh, package, then there obviously it's easier to just use a pre-existing one instead of you having to, from scratch, build everything. So it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's a good point I think you're making, you know, like know when to, you know, use a package and, and not to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Um, so but yeah, yeah. Did you have it? Did you have anything else in the Flutter beginner mistakes before we go to Firebase? Um, I I feel like the 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 last thing is it it isn't really a, a tip per se, but sort of like just personal experience that yeah. I feel like uh what end up happening like with all code bases is that the code becomes sort of messy because mm. if you don't take a quality first approach what ends up happening is that probably like you're you write some code be like you're, you're just be like okay I'll, I'll just write this and then I'll like ju- i just want to make this work and i'll, I'll make it pretty later um mm. but uh but my take is that i i realize that like it's actually more important just to sort of slow down and look at mm. what you write and i often just yeah. sort of like slow down and i realize that oh my gosh this is right. absolutely horrible <laughs> and then like take a moment just sort of like slow down a little bit uh, like mm. look at the code to see like like uh what things you can maybe refactor there there's like a joke saying like oh the more the more code re- you refactor the senior the more senior you become <laughs> Uh, like it's more senior right, engineer, yeah. <laughs> but that's actually yeah, kind of yeah. true. <laughs> like you, right, you want to yeah. refactor. Makes sense. Code. But yeah, 